We're teachers at the Handmade Music School here in Floyd, Virginia, and uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have uh, I guess a fiddle tune to kick it off. So let's jump in with a little sugar in the gourd. All right. Thank you, folks. A little bit of sugar in the gourd, classic old tune there. Uh, I think we're going to go around and introduce ourselves a little bit, some of the teachers here. So why don't uh, why don't we start in the middle here, Mac, if you don't mind? Tell them tell them a little bit about yourself. Yes, sir. Okay, my name is Mac Drainham. I've been working at the Handmade Music School since it started, and it's been my pleasure to work with a lot of great young people and older people, and uh, we've had a lot of success passing on the music to people to keep playing it and to come back and enjoy the Friday night jamboree and and get out there and uh, just become part of the community of musicians that we try to foster around this place. Thank you, Mac. Let's have a hand for Mac Trainum. <laughs> Mac's probably passed on more old-time music from this area than anybody. He's kind of the godfather of old-time music in this part of the state, I'd say. Uh, Gina, how about stepping up and telling a little bit about yourself? Yeah, uh, my name is Gina Dilge. I've been involved with the Handmade Music School for for a good while, um, teaching fiddle lessons and also flat foot dance workshops, um, and just really uh, enjoy enjoy sharing all that music and getting to be around such good people and really stunning teachers all around. So thank you. Thank you, Gina. Gina's also a wonderful artist and graphic designer and makes a lot of really cool uh, traditional music-related artwork, so check her out online. And uh, how about this gentleman down here with the great big old guitar? Why don't you tell him a little bit about yourself, son? I'm Jesse Smathers. Um, I've been uh, teaching with the Handmade Music School for the past, oh, four or five years or so, and uh, it's a real honor to be able to pass along... Uh, this music that I love so much, bluegrass and old time music that uh, runs in my blood. And um, anyways, I teach guitar and mandolin and vocal lessons, and uh, it's just a real a real treat to be part of the Handmade Music School. So. Amen. Let's have a big hand for Jesse. <laughs> Jesse's real humble. He's a he's a professional musician and has been for uh, fifteen years, twelve years. Yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, at least 12 years or so. He's a professional touring bluegrass musician with the Lonesome River Band and a great guy all around. He'll teach you everything you want to know and things you didn't know you need to learn just the same. Uh, and back here 
on the base. Not just a bass player. Well, he's not just a bass player. <laughs> Although he's not teaching with the Handmade Music School right now, he's a staple of the community. This is Mr. Barry Collins, a real talented bass player, banjo player, joke machinist. Joke teller. Yeah, joke teller, fiddle jam player, leader. Jam, leader. jam leader. Yeah, if you come out to the Bluegrass Jam uh, on Sunday, so here at the Floyd Country Store on Sundays, we have a Bluegrass Jam, an old-time jam open to the public. If you come out to that, uh, you might just see Barry and his pretty red bass there on Sundays. And uh, my name is Corbin. I've been living here about a year. Uh, and when I was, I guess when I was 15 or so, I got to uh, come down this way and take some banjo lessons off of Mac and uh, you pick up. You won a scholarship up. for that. I <laughs> did, yeah. I won a scholarship. That was before the Handmade Music School was around. But uh, thankfully, the Handmade Music School is around now. Yeah, right, right. But uh, I play a little bit of banjo and just am real delighted to get to play with these folks and pass on some music from Southwest Virginia. But uh, how about we have another tune there? Does Bill Cheatham suit you fancy? Okay. You gonna dance on that? Gonna get Gina to right, dance. I think we're gonna get Great. Gina to dance. Let me pull this rug yeah. back a little bit. That's what this store is all about, is kind of mixing music and dancing together. And they have some great shows where you don't have to dance, but uh, we love to have dancers when we play these old tunes. All right, we're going to try one called Bill Cheatham. Ready? Yes, sir. Fine. Thank you very much, yeah. folks. Yeah. yeah, we might as well just clear this place out and do like a Friday night jamboree in here. That's some good dancing out there. Good dancing. All right. Well, I think, um, yeah, I think we're going to have Mac and one of his students play here in just a moment. Again, I wanted to thank everyone for coming out this evening and also being with us uh, out in TV land, as they say, or on the Internet. If you've got the, uh, I guess if you're on the live stream, 
Uh, appreciate you being with us. And, uh, you know, the Handmade Music School is part of a nonprofit here in Floyd that has a lot of different projects going on, preserving music, teaching music, and ensuring that uh, music and dance and the arts that we love so much and that means so much to this region and our culture uh, carry on. And we appreciate your help and uh, your being a part of that. But I'm going to turn it over to Mac. Okay. Thank you, Corbin. Uh, go get one of my banjo students out here. And uh, we're going to play a couple of rare old tunes. These tunes, hardly anybody plays them anymore. And uh, I asked her what her favorite tune was, and one of these tunes was what she picked out. Yeah, right there, you are. This is Naomi Cantrell. Yeah, make her welcome. Yeah. So we're going to try one. It comes from an old banjo player I knew when I was in my 20s, an old fella named uh, Enoch Rutherford. And he was just an old mountain man that played banjo on the weekends and loved to get around crowds and fillers conventions. And he's the only one I've ever heard that played this tune. And we picked it up and started playing it as a banjo fiddle. He played it on the fiddle and the banjo. I just listened to it today. And uh, he's been gone for many years, but we think of him when we play this tune. But greasy meat. Think of that, greasy meat. I threw some in my beans the other day. Made them taste so good. But it's in this old tuning, cross tuning on the fiddle. Not a violin tuning, but an old fiddle tuning. It's from your banjo there, man. Are you ready? Greasy meat. stuff coming from the banjo and the fiddle that you can't hear when guitars and basses play with us. More ancient stuff like these old low notes to drone and ring along with the music and uh, sort of the thing that's ancient about old time music. So let's see, let's try on that piece that uh, comes from Carroll County. Enoch Rutherford's from Grayson County, kind of west of here. And the next county over from here is Carroll County and there's lots of good players that come from Carroll County that, that are made records or been recorded by somebody and music preserved and I was lucky to get to meet a lot of them and learn things from listening to their music and one of them was Abe Horton he's gone but uh, he was a wonderful banjo player that had a lot of great stories about the music and this is another r rare tune that only he is the only one that Anybody's ever heard play this tune? Yeah, but there was a name that kind of got out there, so we don't know exactly where he learned it, but probably from somewhere back in the deep woods of Carroll County was people playing and having good times with their music, and this tune came up, and he learned it as a young man. And since it's Christmas time, it's kind of got a good title, on it? We'll just call it Merry Christmas Hoedown. How about it? <laughs> Mary Mountain Hoedowns is what the name of it is. Let's see if we can get those old drones going again. Let's see. Let's see. 
Right. How about another hand for them? All right, we're going to have a couple young folks come out here and play a, f a few for you. They've been playing since they were, oh, about that high. Been playing for five and three years, respectively. This is the Hello family. Give them a big hand. Alright, the first song that we're going to play is called Boatsman's Dance.
next song that we're going to play is Old Joe Clark. Let's have another big hand for the Hello family. That was awesome. All right. Up next, we're going to have one of Mac Trainum's students, a young lady named Margo McSweeney, who's a real great musician and is going to do a couple solo on the fretless banjo for you. Shaving a dead man. This one is called Little Birdie.
Thank you. Well done, Margo. That was great. Let's bring this back up here. And again, folks, we want to thank you very much for joining us here in-house this evening and also joining us online for this year's Giving Tuesday fundraiser uh, and performance for the Handmade Music School. As I mentioned before, Handmade Music School is a nonprofit organization that has a lot of different arms and a lot of different elements going on working to preserve and protect and forward traditional music and traditional arts in this part of Southwest Virginia. And, uh, you know, it's support through the community and folks who are also passionate about this music and these arts that keeps us going and uh, keeps the lights on and keeps oil in the heat tank. And I know that from experience. Uh, and if you would like to support us and help us out, you can do so online at mightycause.com slash story slash keep traditions alive. I'm sure you can also find a link to it in the description of the video below. And we're raising money for the Share the Music Fund, so students who want to take part in Handmade Music School of any age can do so uh, with the help of scholarships. So folks can donate to scholarships to help pay the way for folks who may want to take lessons or can't, uh, families who want to and maybe can't afford for everyone to, so that's one way you can help to give. You can also help by supporting Music of Our Mountains, which is a newer project that Handmade Music School is doing. It's essentially an online database and platform where you can go and learn about the history, the roots, the tunes, the elements, the people who have uh, laid the groundwork for the music that we play today. And it's a really beautiful interactive online platform called Music of Our Mountains. It's active, it's online, you can check it out now, and uh, there's going to be new content uploaded in months to come. It's kind of an ever-growing story, a wide web of the music of this region. Also, uh, you can check out and support the Floyd Country Store TV, which is kind of the latest initiative here uh, in Floyd to preserve and protect and promote traditional music. It's a way that even if you can't come out and be with us here in person, you can see all kinds of live performances from home. Uh, you can find it in the App Store, I believe, and uh, you can download it on, you know, Fire Stick, things like that, so you don't even have to necessarily have a computer to do it. You can download the app on your phone and see full performances, workshops, exclusive content, uh, backlog shows, historic footage from back in the day here at the Floyd Country Store. And also, you know, we really appreciate the help we get for our general operating. So the Handmade Music School, as I said, has a lot of different arms, a lot of different things going on, and multiple employees. Uh, I myself am one of them, and as is Jesse Smathers, who was up here, and, uh, you know, a couple, couple others of us are behind the cameras doing that good work for us. So it helps keep us uh, upright and breathing. Like I said, puts heat and oil in the tank and makes sure that we can continue uh, bringing this music to you and bringing students out and uh, bringing the music further. All right, so up next, we are going to have the Grantham family coming up, I do believe. Oh, there they are. Come on out here. Let's see, are you gonna sit, buddy? Um, I'll just stand. Okay, are you standing or sitting? Yeah. Okay. Tell you what, you can play in the water. Bring this one over here for me, bud. All right, why don't you tell them what you're gonna do? Thank you. Yeah. This is Roven Gambler. Money down, lay my money down, lay my money down. 
is Mississippi Sawyer. Another big hand for the Grantham family. That was awesome. Tell you what, I wish I was half that good when I was their age. All right, we're going to have Mac Trainum come up and uh, have another one of his students here. This is uh, Heather. You've probably seen her around a couple of times. And, uh, you know, at the Handmade Music School, we teach all ages, everybody, every walk of life. And not just here, the young. The young of all ages, um, <laughs> folks of every walk of life, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm fired. Thank you so much. Um, but also, folks uh, from all around the country and around the world, we also can teach remotely. So if you're not here in Floyd, we can also uh, do Zoom lessons and, and come to you. But uh, we're going to have them do a couple of old-timey numbers for you. All right. Heather's been one of my longest running students, so she's gone through a lot of, we've played a lot of tunes together, haven't we? We have. Yeah. yeah. This is sort of a new one, though. We had not played them much. We decided to do a new, new one for uh, Anyway, you know. Heather has gotten inspired by listening to the music of Matoki Slaughter, who was from Pulaski, and she got put on one of the early county records about claw hammer banjo, and she was just an older lady that could play with a lot of pep and zing and I got to meet her and talk to her some, and I said, how'd you learn to play Matoki? She said, I always knew how to play. <laughs> Just when she was born, she said, the first thing I remember was how to play the band. <laughs> 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 and she could play pretty good, so. But it's peppy stuff, so uh, if anybody will dance, that would help us out. It's always good to have a dancing to help us distract us a little bit and get us on the board with something. So, uh. Margot, Misha, y'all, come on and give us a little hand. Can I say a little something really quick? Can I say something really quick? Tell them the name of the tune. Oh, well, I'll let you do that with you. <laughs> I just want to say, being the, the most mature student on the stage tonight, <laughs> just, you know, it, it doesn't matter how old you are. I think that um, it's always a great time to learn. I didn't start playing the banjo until my mid-30s, and um, I really love it. It's brought a lot of joy. Um, and uh, great experiences in my life. And um, it's really fantastic to get to learn from people who um, spent time with um, the older folks who passed down this tradition. Um, and so that's one of the reasons why I really like hanging out with Mac and um, learning it kind of from the closest source that I can learn it from at my age. Um, so I really appreciate that. And yeah, you're never too old, so just remember that out there. You can still learn. This is the first time I've ever been called a godfather about Corbin earlier. So, <laughs> <laughs> <wait a minute. laughs> 
I don't think so. So anyway, I learned the banjo tunes, claw hammer style, and then I took up fiddling. And since I had them in my head, I could try to transfer them over into the fiddle. So some, not many people do that, but I try to do that. So play along with the banjo tune. So we're going to draw a banjo fiddle duet on this old piece called The Big Eyed Rabbit. stuff depends on getting things in a certain tuning so she's got a different banjo in a different tuning and I got a different fiddle in a different tuning all right we tried this a couple times before but this tune comes from a uh, there was an old family band from East Tennessee that used to come out to fiddlers conventions, Galax, and different ones between here and there, called the Birchfield Family or the Roan Mountain Hilltoppers is what they call their band. And they were quite the old timers and uh, knew a lot of tunes that were rare. And this is one of their tunes that we like to play on. It's kind of got a squirrely little part in it. It's called uh, Old Granny Rattletrap, or Rattletrap for short. Ready?
Heather and Mac. Well, y'all don't wander off too far. Uh, we're going to have all the students and all the teachers and bass players come back up, if you would. So make your way to the side stage. Again, we'd like to thank you so much for joining us here in-house. And, oh, look out. Barry's going to jump on the stage here. Welcome back, Barry. We thank you for joining us here in-house and also joining us online for this year's Handmade Music fundraiser. And uh, we also encourage you to come visit us here in Floyd. If, if you haven't been, it's well worth making a trip, not just to see the Floyd Country Store and Handmade Music School and County Sales, but to see all the great uh, artisans and businesses and uh, great places around here in Floyd County. All right, we're going to get some more folks to file on up here. Y'all, we're in the key of D if you're playing along at home. Key of D. 440 standard. country with any names for it. Everybody about ready? Got a lot of banjos. <laughs> Amazing if we could get them all in tune together.
Oh, it's from the same school, though. That ought to make sense. Yeah, you ought to be able to play together if you're from the same school, right? Exactly. <laughs> we all learn the same free tunes. Yeah. 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 What's one you'd like to play? Soul to Joy. Everybody knows that one, I hope. Yeah. All right. Can you kick it off? All right. But Cheyenne's going to kick this one off. Soul to Joy. Thank you all so much again.